Hello, so Eagles Games, I believe his name is, made me a good GOS to NATO adapter, and apologies, I've still got bloody hiccups, they won't go away. I've taken some antacids, maybe that will work on them, but who knows. But basically, he made his own GOS to NATO adapter, sort of 3D printed design, and it seems to work well. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate this working on several masks with banana oil, and, well, hopefully it'll work on a mask, but so far it seems a lot better than the other one I tried. So this is quite a well-made one, so I'm just going to quickly... I've got a NATO filter already screwed into it, I've got the GOS to NATO adapter as you can see there, it's that sort of grey bit in between the mask, and I've got the CM5D, is it? Um, which is actually a GOS mask, so I'm going to put it on, use some banana oil, then I'll take it apart, show you the actual GOS to NATO adapter, and then we'll stick it on the GP5M and double check it works on there. But the idea is, like a lot of people have tried to do 3D printing, something that lets you screw in a NATO filter and make it fit onto a GOS mask. In theory it should be simple, but Certainly lots of these designs people have made and never seem to work. So let's try this one. So here's the CM5 on. As you can see it seems to be pressurising. So here's this. Absolutely no odour coming through at the moment. working flawlessly. So there we go. What we're going to do now is get the um, GP5M and try it on there. And I'll just show you what this looks like. So let me just take this mask off. Apologies again for the hiccups, but if I waited for the hiccups to go, I think I'd be here all day and still not make a video. So this is the Gosta NATO adapter. So let me unscrew it. So what you've got is the, the rubber washer, I'll just pull the rubber washer out. It's one he had made apparently for it, so it's actually kind of like a prop, a ring as you can see. It's not like a flat one, it's actually a ring. There's your thing, so there's your NATO screw in there. The bit washer sits against, there's your GOSS screw. So pretty straightforward, but what you should see in a moment when I put it all together is, so let's get that bit flat in there, there we go. So the NATO filter, as you can see, screws on absolutely fine, no resistance. Let's get that nice and tight against the washer. So here is the example of the not-so-good one I reviewed before, I'm sure you'd remember. That one. So, let's get that out of there. So, now watch this. Completely smoothly screws in there, no resistance. Let's get that nice and tight. Oop. For whatever reason, it doesn't want to screw very well into that GP5M, but I think that's probably because I'm like damage the thread, but that seems to be pretty in tight there. Let's let's try this on. So there we go. Right. Ow, pop my ear, so that's definitely going air tight. Now let's try this. And hurrah, no smell, so it's working. So yes, he has made a very good one. So what I'm going to do is, once this video goes live, if he manages to put a link up for these if he's commercially selling them. I hope he is, because they're good. I'd recommend them. This seems very good. I've not tried it on all my Ghost masks, apparently. You know, obviously. But all the ones I've tried it on work quite well. So it's very simple. It's just a very nicely made one. So if I compare it to that other one, or if I just shut that just now, here we go. You might be able to see by looking at the quality of the plastic that it's a lot better made. Firstly, it's longer screw thread than the other one, so obviously it's got this bit that it's designed to push up against the O-ring in a Ghost mask and make a good fit that way. Also, you'll notice the much longer NATO screw bit on this side um, compared to this type of one and has a proper room for an O-ring to sit. Because, for example, if we put this O-ring into this one, notice that we've basically got no screw thread. So, yeah, that's why this one obviously works quite well, is he has kind of designed it and known what he's do doing. As obviously a guy who understands how threads work in masks that... You've got a decent intake thread, you've got a decent o-ring, and then you've got, obviously, as well as a screw there, you've got a bit of extra space to push it into the Goss Mask washer. So yes, an excellent design, I'd recommend this. So there you go. So, big thank you to the person, I've already forgotten their name, it will, like I said it at the front of the video, and I'll make sure I put it in the description. But yes, he has made a good Goss Tornado adapter that actually seems to work. So there you go, your prayers have been answered for all the people saying, I want to use NATO filters on the Ghost mask. Wow, it looks like somebody's finally come up with a good design I'd actually trust because they've understood a bit about how these are designed to work, not just one side is Ghost, one side is NATO. You know, it's got a decent length for the scroll on each side and got a good quality 
the washer inside. So there we go. I'm pleased to announce I finally found one of these seems to work fine and is made from good quality materials. No seam lines as you can see so there's nothing that's going to interfere with the seal. So apologies for the hiccups again but they're not fucking going away at the moment so you know you just have to put up with them like I'm having to put up with them. <laughs>